Most hackers fail because their foundational skills and knowledge sucks. Here's how to fix that. Hacking's one of the coolest skills to have. Cracking systems, uncovering secrets, feeling that rush, but let's be real. Most advice out there makes it sound way too complicated. The truth is, hacking doesn't have to be a maze. It's actually pretty straightforward when you focus on what matters. Give me 11 minutes and I'll walk you through the foundations to kickstart your hacking journey like a pro. Quick disclaimer, everything you'll learn here is for ethical hacking only. That means testing systems you own or have permission to touch, nothing illegal. Hacking without consent can land you in serious trouble and that's not what we're about. We're here to protect, learn and grow. This video is for educational and professional purposes only. With that out of the way, let's build your foundation first. Before we dive into the fancy stuff, you need to understand the OSI model. Let's talk about why it matters. It's the blueprint of how everything online, your Netflix binge, your Zoom calls, even a simple text, gets from point A to point B without chaos. Understanding it is like knowing the playbook for hacking or securing a network. It shows you where things can break, where to strike, or where to defend. Without it, you're just guessing in the dark. Now, picture the OSI model as mailing a letter to your friend across town. It's a seven-step journey that gets your message where it needs to go. At layer seven, the application layer, you're writing the letter in your favorite app, picking the words and style. It's all about what you want to say. Layer six, presentation, is where you translate it into a neat format maybe adding emojis or fancy handwriting, ensuring it's readable on their end. Layer five, session, is like setting up the chat, deciding if this is a one-off note or an ongoing pen pal thing, keeping the connection alive. At layer four, transport, you're choosing how reliable the delivery needs to be, standard mail or tracked shipping, breaking it into chunks if it's a long letter. Layer three, network, figures out the address and route, like picking the right post office and streets to get it there. Layer two, data link, is the mail carrier handing it off between stops, double checking it's not crumpled along the way. Finally, layer one, physical, is the paper, ink, and truck tires hitting the road, the raw stuff that moves it. By the time your friend reads it, all seven layers work together, even if you only saw the letter itself. Now let's flip this. How do hackers attack these layers? Each step in our postal journey is a weak spot if you know where to look. Up at layer seven, application, they might slip malware into your app, like a fake email attachment that steals your data when you open it. At layer six, presentation, they could mess with formatting, encrypting your letter into unreadable gibberish with ransomware. Layer five, session, is ripe for hijacking. Imagine someone intercepting your pen pal chat and pretending to be you. Down at layer four, transport, a denial of service attack floods the mail truck with junk, slowing delivery to a crawl. Layer three, network, is where IP spoofing tricks the system, sending letters with a fake return address to sneak past defenses. Layer two, data link, can fall to ARP poisoning, confusing the mail carrier into delivering to the wrong house. And at layer one physical, it's as simple as cutting the truck's tires. Think Wi-Fi jamming or cable tampering. Every layer is a target, and knowing them means you can spot the attack or launch one ethically to test your own walls. Feel that click yet? The one thing that will level up your hacking skills is knowing the phases of the hacking process. To keep it simple, start by learning these five reconnaissance, enumeration, exploitation, privilege escalation, and action on objective. I'll break it down simply. Imagine you're sneaking into your friend's house to pull a prank like hiding their favorite snack. First, reconnaissance. You're outside, scoping the place open blinds, Wi-Fi signal buzzing, gathering intel with tools like Nmap to spot entry points. Next, enumeration. You circle the house, testing the back door's loose knob, digging for weak spots like using Nmap to list services or flaws. Then, exploitation. You twist that knob, it breaks, and you're in the kitchen, slipping through a vulnerability, like hitting an unpatched app with Metasploit. After that, privilege escalation. You find their key ring on the counter, unlocking every room, grabbing higher access like cracking an admin password. Finally, action on objective. You grab their snack, stash it in the attic, and slip out, achieving your goal, like exfiltrating data or leaving a back door. Five steps, one smooth flow. Hacking's just a plan that clicks, does it make sense? Before I continue with powerful tips that will put you ahead of 99% of beginners in hacking, let's tackle that big question. Where do you even start and how do you keep going? I've been talking about building skills step by step, but I know it's tough to figure out your path alone, especially when you're new to hacking or tech. That's why I'm so happy that Zero to Mastery wanted to sponsor this video so I could give you a real solution. If you don't know where to start, their career path quiz will give you a personalized roadmap that tells you exactly what to learn to hit your goals, whether that's ethical hacking, cybersecurity, or something else. Their courses teach you step-by-step -step how to become a security expert in 2025. And with their project-based learning methodology, you'll actually be creating real-world projects as you learn. But once you start, 
At some point, you'll get stuck or have questions. That's why I love that they have an active Discord community with over 400,000 fellow students learning alongside you. Not only are these people who will keep you accountable and share the journey, but also instructors and TAs in there, ready to answer any question, no matter how small. Now, most online communities are chaotic, but ZTM is organized with channels for every topic. Hacking, cybersecurity, job hunting, resume tips, even finding an accountability buddy to stay on track. And if you're watching this video, you're probably serious about making this a career. Applying to jobs and interviewing can be daunting, but ZTM's Master the Coding Interview courses will help you with practice questions, resume advice, and strategies to crush any tech interview. Because Zero to Mastery isn't just about learning, it's about getting real-world experience while you learn to build confidence and get results that'll help you turn this into a career. There's a reason they have a 4.9 on Trustpilot and have helped thousands of people land jobs in tech. As promised, you can grab my ultimate hacking cheat sheets and the exclusive discount for Zero to Mastery's top tier hacking and tech courses from the links below. This is the good stuff. Start with a clear plan, learn with a community that's got your back and build projects with your new skills. Grab that link, take the quiz and let's turn I don't know what to do next into I've got this. Everyone wants to hack and do the cool stuff, but skipping the basics is like building a house without a foundation. It collapses. Let's cover a few more core concepts. IP addresses. Every device online has one. It's like a digital fingerprint. Yours might look like this. Hackers use IPs to find targets, like typing an address into GPS. Try this later. Open a command prompt, type IP config on Windows or if config on Linux, and see your own local IP. To see your public IP, you can visit whatismyipaddress.com. That's step one, knowing who's where. Next, DNS. Ever wonder how YouTube.com loads instantly? DNS is the internet's translator. It turns names into IPs. Hackers mess with DNS to redirect traffic or sneak in. Here's a cool trick. Type nslookupyoutube.com into your terminal. You'll see its IP pop up. That's you peeking under the hood. And networks? They're the roads tying it all together. Your Wi-Fi, that coffee shop hotspot, it's all networks. Routers steer traffic and weak ones are gold mines for hackers. Think of it like this. If you can map the roads, you can find the shortcuts or block them. This isn't just theory. It's the bedrock of every hack. Now let's dive into six specific tips that will put you ahead of 99% of beginners in hacking. First tip, don't just skim the basics. Master them with purpose. Tools like Ping or Nmap aren't random. They're your entry points. Ping checks if a device is alive. Type ping Google's public DNS and watch it respond. That's you knocking on a digital door. Nmap takes it further. It scans for open ports, like peeking through windows to see what's exposed. Nmap is included in Kali Linux, and you can get started testing on your own network safely. You'll see every device light up. That's not just a command, it's you thinking like a hacker. Start here, and the rest falls into place. Tip two, think like your target. Hacking isn't blind guessing, it's strategy. Imagine you're securing your Wi-Fi. What's the weak link? A default password like password123. That's a free pass for anyone with a laptop. Or maybe port 80 is open because you've got a sloppy web server running. Flip that mindset. As an ethical hacker, you're hunting those gaps. Here's your move. Grab a pen and list three things you'd check. Password strength, open ports, outdated software. Do it now if you can. This isn't busy work, it's you training your brain to spot vulnerabilities. Feel that shift? You're not just watching, you're doing. Now let me share some more amazing tips with you that I wish I knew in the beginning. Tip 3. Automate like a pro. Beginners grind through commands manually. Pros, let scripts do the work. Say you're scanning 50 IPs for open ports. Typing nmap 50 times is torture. Instead, write a Python script. Five lines, done. Don't know Python? Zero to Mastery has a course on this subject as well. It's quick and painless. Here's a real example. A script that loops nmap over a range of IPs can finish in minutes while you grab a snack. Check out GitHub for hacking scripts to tweak. Automation saves time and makes you unstoppable. Why work harder when you can work smarter? Tip 4. Stay invisible. Hackers don't get caught because they're ghosts. Before testing anything, legally, use a VPN to mask your IP. Want to level up even more? Chain proxies with a tool like Proxy Chains. Find it on Kaylee.org or spoof your MAC address. On Linux, Machanger does it in seconds. Try this. Set up a VPN, then ping your router. Can you tell it's you? Probably not. That's the goal. Pros don't leave footprints, and neither should you. Drop a comment later. Did it work? This is where you start feeling untouchable. Tip 5. Build your toolkit. You wouldn't fix a car with just a hammer, right? Hacking's the same. Beyond and map? Grab Wireshark. It's free at wireshark.org and sniffs network traffic like a bloodhound. Want to crack passwords? John the Ripper from openwall.com is a beast. Just use it ethically. 
and Kali Linux, it's a free operating system packed with hacking tools. Download it from Kali.org. Start small. Install Wireshark, capture some packets from your own network, and see what's flowing. That's you arming up for bigger challenges. Let's kick this into high gear. Grab my hacking cheat sheet, loaded with tools, commands, and shortcuts, linked below. It's your quick reference guide to everything we've covered. If you really want to master hacking as fast as possible, make sure you take advantage of the exclusive discount for Zero to Mastery's top hacking courses. From total beginner to pro, they've got the best training out there. Happy hacking!